Dawn broke on the morning of April the 1st, 1996. Tension mounted. The 20 teams and support crews made the final preparations to the 38 Land Rover Discoveries and Defender 110s before embarking on the historic 1,850 kilometer journey through the heartland of Southern Borneo. Let's go straight to the action. Eighty kilometers northwest of Balikpapan, the teams begin the first of the special tasks. These are the competitive elements of Camel Trophy, each designed to test the participants' stamina, mental ability, navigation and 4x4 driving skills. Yeah, I think you've got to relax a bit. And, uh, you know, it's good to win the competition, but you keep in the vehicle for the next three weeks because there's no more trash on day one. Oh. Ah. The only thing we've broken is the exhaust, so I'm very pleased that there's no other serious damage. Obviously, it's not a good idea to punish the car. <laughs> but, you know, when you get into a task, it suddenly goes out the window that, you know, you want to do well. Hard work, mud and lack of sleep were to become their everyday routine. Gradually, they began to control the progress of the convoy as they headed deeper into the forests. How does it look on the other side? The first major river crossing was a big test. Muhur Balusu over the Sungai Jalau. Event coordinator Mark Day gave advice to the teams. Why don't we just winch it backwards? We're going to build this road this side with sand track. We're going to build the road over there with sand track. We're going to drive straight on and straight off, OK? At first, they struggled to work as a cohesive unit. But eventually, working into the night using a local pontoon, the teams managed to get 38 vehicles across the swollen river in 12 hours. Startled locals, who hadn't seen vehicles for a long time, gazed in wonder at the convoy. and we cross over, but we try to go through the water, but the water, the, the, this little lake is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and there's a big hole over there, and all the cars are getting the nose under it. So it's going to be, a, we will take very long to go through here. Driving, winching and snatching their vehicles over obstacles, the convoy endeavoured to push on to their final destination. Stop, couldn't be better. 
nice little uh, swimming pool to wade our way through. <laughs> the experience gained over the past few weeks could be seen by the slick maneuver of the UK car through another river. The teams were still cheerful, but aware that they were falling behind schedule. Rolling, 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 keep the convoy going. Rolling, rolling, rolling. The convoy overcame the last few mud holes, washouts and flooded rivers before the track improved and they began their final push towards Pontiana. After 20 days, tiredness was really taking its toll and the German and Japanese vehicles went over on their sides. The red clay tracks were lined by thousands of cheering children. Families gathered in fascinating groups to view the bizarre spectacle. The convoy passed under the shadow of Gunung Batadea, a 2,000 foot high volcanic limestone plug which rose dramatically from the flat landscape. A significant moment. It meant they were getting close to their destination. The teams arrived at Pantai Gosong, just north of Pontianak, unbelievably only 24 hours behind schedule. The final set of special tasks, which included vehicle maneuverability, teamwork and physical fitness, ended with a spectacular group canoeing task which signalled the end of Camel Trophy Kalimantan, 1996. It was a remarkable event. They had overcome all kinds of obstacles in all types of weather conditions and had made it across Kalimantan. They started as 20 teams and finished as one. It was an adventure they would never forget. Winners of the Special Task Award, the team from Russia. Winners of this year's Team Spirit Award, voted by everybody on the convoy, is the team from South Africa. And the winners of the new Land Rover Award for driving in special tasks and the overall winners of Camel Trophy 1996, the team from Greece. Mongolia is a vast landlocked country, three times the size of France.